welcome back to the channel and we're getting ever, ever so close to this which is great but today we're going to do a little bit on the boot lid because it's not quite white enough and we're going to do one of the doors as well so let's crack on we're going to cut all this in a bit out get the door skin off and we've got to make a, a thing in here you'll see it on the on the picture so that's what we've got to make so uh, we just cut them up. Right, we've drawn what we need to cut out and then for the corners, we just put that in there, draw on the, draw on the edge. And then you can see, we got a nice turn. Same for that side. We're gonna cut right to the top, cut all that out. And then uh, we can start making the inner piece. And that, is that bit there. Uh, right, you've got to cut that out. Um, you've got to cut that piece out in there. Well. Just don't want that. And then we can fabricate some bits that go in there. I've right, drawn kind of what we're going to have. i got to make to go across the top of there so you can kind of see all the bends and all in it and what it's going to look like. Gives you a good visual reference of what it's going to be. And uh, the sides are simple, they're just straight down. But this one's a bit more complicated. What have we got? One, two, three, four bends in it. So we're uh, just going to cut some steel at the right length and uh, put all the benders and bend it. Right, as you can see, I've cut the door right down to the bare minimum before I weld any section in there because I wanted to check make sure that the door shuts and the gaps are all good which it does which is great that's what we want so now now that's in place <laughs> looks really weird like that uh, now that's in place it shuts absolutely perfect I'm gonna tack this piece in this is a bit like bent so this piece will go like that in there and then obviously the, this bonds on to the, the door. This is where the cursed, uh, cursed, what's it called? Uh, poly, unitane, poly, whatever it is, windows connects to. And that's what it looks like from this side. So, first bit is tapped in place and all looking pretty good. Uh, we've got to do the downsides now and the bottom, and then this one will be ready for the skin. You can actually see what it's going to look like now. Right, so we got this other piece cut. Ready to go in, shaped up nice. So that's a nice square there. So it's fitting in lovely. Gonna tack well that in now, and then we can do the next one on the other side. Right, we've got the door skin to go on here now, but the inside is done. Obviously, we've got to put a handle in there, and we've got to sort the latch out and do the thing, you know, the plastic windows and all that, but the actual frame of the door is done, swinging lovely, as you can see. Oh, off to the other side. On the other door, oh. we don't want that. And we're gonna cut that out, and then we can put it on to see how we're gonna do this side. Well, we've got this side on, bolted on, and it swings lovely as well. So all we're going to do now is weld the same bit in as we did the driver's side, and then a presto, it'll all be done. <laughs> couple hours time. For me, a couple of seconds for you. And the same to the passenger side. So this side's done now as well. Lovely. And we got to do the same to this, you know, you know, the door skin, the door handle, and all that, la, 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 window and everything. But 
the doors are pretty much done and ready to go now this is obviously the door lock and there's some slight differences to this one and this one only as you can see a little toggle on the back we could use this one but i want this one because it's got the hole in it i could easily make one to go on here but i'm going to use that one for now and you're wondering what's this piece of bent metal for you well i bent this piece of metal because this is going to be the door opener so we're going to weld that to there like that and then we gotta weld a flat piece on the end of there and i will show you once i've welded that piece on and it will look and act exactly like the rally car one did well welding that onto that piece this piece didn't go as planned because it it wouldn't it wouldn't move so i've dismantled it all and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to weld basically that that onto the end of this foot here down through the side of there so i'm going to cut that open enough for a slot for that to go in and then uh, try and weld down fingers crossed that'll work because looking at this one which is exactly the same there is enough room at the back of it for that to happen so that's what we're going to do well that worked i got that slit in there so you know you can see through almost going to happen with it so uh, this is going to work this time should do can't see why not you got it welded right so it's on there working whoop there you go working marvelous that's what we want now let's try and get all that back in there so give me an hour or something <laughs> and i'll get it back to get a couple of seconds for you guys so uh here i go Managed to get it all back together and put some tack welds on the side of those pins and we are good to go. TD. I mean we have it, that's all it was about. Just that. That's all it is. Love it. One down, the other one to go. And there's the other side done. Hopefully, I haven't got to strike the pin in because the threads are damaged in here, so we've got to get a nice thread to go in there. But it's done. Both sides. Right, but I bought this part and it's short about an inch, so adding half an inch on either side. I don't know if I'm going to use this in a future video or not, but I thought I'll uh, show you me extending it. Obviously, we've, we've done that side already. Still going to cut it to length. I think when they were when they made their part, they uh, trimmed it down too short. So, like I say, there's only half inch on either side, so inch altogether. But something if you didn't know how to fix would be a big bummer. So, uh, oh, it's going to dry now. After sorting that back panel out, as you can see, we made a lot of mess, <laughs> but it's done. Gonna put some pins on here. I was originally gonna use these because that's what the original one has, but I don't think it's gonna go right. I think it's gonna pull this out more than keep it in. So I got some different ones use these for the top they're gonna go by there but they're gonna have to go in last and then i got these like really cool little popper ones which uh, i like them so we're gonna stick one there obviously one on the other side and i think i'm gonna put, use them down here as well so just gonna drill a nice big hole with the drill bit which is this for that to go into the top uh, there and then a nice little drill bit for the receiver which is 
this bit here nice and simple so we'll get them installed and uh yeah just carry on now well that was uh <laughs> really easy they just uh drilled straight through and uh because of this drill bit is the right size i literally just drilled all the way through and even marked where it screws into the metal so i really like that that's i might have to, have to buy some more of them for their uh the front maybe but definitely having them down there now so I, I really like it i can't believe how uh how good they are that is solid on me i'm well happy with them they're brilliant for i think like eight quid for eight quid you can't go you can't go wrong like that. yeah solid tidy right on to the other ones now Waiting, still waiting on some fittings for the fuel, but we got most of it all plumbed up and made a new one of them because it didn't line up where I wanted it. Did our off camera, but you know, I mean, well then. Um, yeah, so we're waiting some more fittings for that, for that lot. Right, this is a special package, as you can see, export from Germany. So I've been working with a company in Germany for these and these are prototypes in here for what will be available to everybody in the public. So let's have a look, what have we got in here? Hell yeah! Look at them. Obviously these are just uh, prototypes at the moment but they will be going in there. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Tidy! Right, so we're gonna cut it all, get that in there, see what it looks like, and yes, let me just cut some slots and we'll be back with you in a couple of seconds. How oh, well are they cut out mine? It's quite hard to look back here, but oh yeah. Looking awesome! What do you think of them man? They come out absolutely awesome. And they'll be uh, available to you guys very soon. We just a uh, couple of little tweaks we want to do with them, but they are looking awesome. Absolutely awesome. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll call it another episode. So if you like any of that, leave a comment. Love to talk to you guys and we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now. <laughs>